everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Oblivion Part 46. My name is Gravon, I'll be your host, and we are getting very close to the end of the Shivering Isles main quest. Let's take a look at our quest journal here. The Roots of Madness, I've discovered a chrysalis that generates a tame gnarl cultivator. Perhaps these gnarls can help me halt the spread of order throughout the Fountainhead. If you remember, we need to go through the Fountainhead, and uh, in order to do that, or because of that, we need to basically clear out all of these knights of order that is sort of tainting it and so that we can uh get our shigorat staff in working order if that made any sense at all probably didn't anyways we're at pretty much one of the uh major stoppages or whatever and uh there's all these knights of orders all over the place are these gnarl saplings hurting me but i'm not the one i'm trying to clear your spring why are you, why would you guys want to hurt me these guys are the evil ones oh my god they're dealing like quite a bit of damage to me at the moment okay so i need to turn the volume down because all this noise i can't even hear myself talk there we go okay so yes I, i'm just gonna slaughter these guys really i'm just gonna swing my what is it dawn fang yes dawn fang dawn fang is extinguished nine lives ten lives 11 lives oh that was 10 so do the saplings not count i'm not sure but one more guy and then we will have access to dusk fang superior there we go i've killed the priest of order who had cursed the pool of dementia now to cleanse the pool of mania so yes this is one half of this quest basically uh we have why do i have like amazing healing powers right now oh this must this uh this pool must be healing me that's nice so uh yeah we've cleared the dementia side and as you can see i think these uh various furniture pieces signify the dementia side oh yes and these little uh withering moons and stuff and so if we go to the mania side there will probably be mania furniture and mania uh flora and fauna and different things so let's go do that um i'm not sure if we need to go back or this way uh, let's see. Looks like this way. Hopefully it'll loop back around and we'll be able to clear the mania side. What does this door lead to? The fountainhead. Sounds good. Alrighty, we have a red quest marker. This leads us above the ground level, so I guess that's sort of just a shortcut. There we go. Also, one thing I wanted to uh, touch on really quickly is I recently ordered, number one, an Xbox 360 wired controller so that I can play PC games with, with much more what dexterity yeah and i also ordered a uh, a pretty good logitech webcam in order to implement face cam in my videos and that's something that i should have done a long time ago i don't really know why i never did it but you guys are basically you're going to start seeing my face i think at the bottom right corner i'm not sure exactly where i'm going to put it but long story short you guys are going to start seeing uh, my face as i play these games and i'm not sure when exactly that will be implemented maybe it would be nice to have it up for uh, episode 50 because what I'm planning to do, let's just say that it would be really nice to have that feature up. Um, but anyways, looks like we need to go through this door and to do that we need to have this cultivator come over here and uh, open it. And this is, like I said in the last episode, I never understood the point of this. It's like not even a puzzle, it's just very, very tedious and annoying to have to wait for these guys to come over and sometimes they won't actually have the correct pathing to do it. And it's just like, why did they do this? I, it may have been a part of like a bigger puzzle, you know? And then they're just like, ah, we, we're running out of time, let's just implement it this way. I'm not exactly sure, I don't really get the point. But anyways, there we go, he's opened up that uh, door that we can't open. I wish... What I wish they did was, is the mania one right here, or is this just a smaller one? Let's just go ahead and clean this, cleanse this one. Thanks to our cow, we can see this. Whoa, this guy's fast. What are you doing? There we go. Now are these crystals going to go away? Yes. What I was saying was, I wish what they did was make it so that you could also use hearts of order to open them. That would have been really nice. Ooh, this has chameleon 20% on itself. That's interesting, because there's like five pieces of armor that you can have in Oblivion, and uh, if each one has 20% chameleon, and you have basically 100%, you will be completely invisible, as I've mentioned before, and as I've showed off in a video I made about Oblivion way, way, way back that I linked in the first Let's Play Oblivion episode. I linked back to that video and uh, I sort of go over that. Anyways, let's go to the Pool of Mania. Okay, so I'm seeing one Gnarl. Hopefully he won't attack us. Is it a Cultivator? What are you? Oh, you're going to attack me? You just run away? Oh, there you go. Okay, well you forced my hand, buddy. I was going to let you live, but uh, yeah. Can't let people disrespect me like that. Um, let's go this way. I kind of don't like having the cow, but what I'm going to need to do is wear it until I can... Oh, I was afraid that was a cold for a second, and I shouldn't have done that. Um, 
I'm going to have to wear it until I can gain access to a chest that doesn't reset so that I can store all my stuff until I get a nice house that I can place everything nicely as I did in that Oblivion video that I uh, referenced earlier as well the chrysalis appears to be empty what are you talking about I need a cultivator is that a cultivator no this is a sapling all right yeah, here we go again with this really annoying process. So I guess this means that a cultivator is already outside. The chrysalis appears to be empty. We can't activate it to make a new one. And we need to go through that door. But maybe we can go through a door over here too. There's probably two doors. There's a sapling that's not attacking me. I don't really understand this. Here's some amber. I don't understand why some gnarls want to attack me and some don't. Yeah, we can't even open this. Can I hit this guy through there? No. Okay, um, hmm. Let's go back and see if that chrysalis will activate. If not, I guess I'm just going to have to figure this out myself. And we'll fast forward to that, because I don't know. This is really weird. I guess we can kill a sapling. There's really not a point to killing him, I guess. But then again, ooh, he did have some amber. Um, oh, actually, we didn't. Oh, we did. Okay. There we. Okay, there we don't go. It's making the animation of forming a, uh, whatever you call it, a, uh, a cultivator, but it's not actually making a cultivator. This is, like, really annoying and weird. This guy has amber, too. Wow, we're getting a lot of amber. The crystals prevent you from opening the door, and there's literally no one else. I'm not at all sure of what I should be doing. I'm gonna try this one more time, and then I'm going to fast forward until I figure this out. Okay, I will see you guys when I figure this out. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so what I think happened was there's actually not supposed to be any cultivators in this location and that priest that I killed before this location, um, like about, you know, really recently, I think you were supposed to loot his body and find a shard of order, which is what I got. Now hopefully when I activate this, the shard of order will work. There we go. Okay, I, re I remember that a little bit. Yeah, so you can also use Shard of Orders in order to uh, open those doors, and that's what I was missing there. Okay, so let's move on here. We need to find... Can we not open this? Yeah, I think we need a Shard of Order to open those two, but uh, that's not really worth it. Is this going to activate finally? Thank you. Okay, so now that guy should come up here and open this, hopefully, but it's going to take 10,000 years. Come on, buddy. You can do it. There you go really annoying thing is that they like run into obstacles and you know textures and things and then they stop and then they just sort of change directions and it's just really bad pathing scripts and AI and whatever and it's just really annoying so that's one of the main reasons I don't like this system but anyways he should be able to open that there we go thank you very much and let's continue on to the pool of mania and then we can get our staff in working order tree you die Ew, come on there we go and this looks to be like the second pool that we need to cleanse and over there you can sort of make out a uh, an important figure i wonder who that's going to be <laughs> so the bloody handed duke comes to claim another victim you may find me rather harder to kill than poor innocent thaden okay so that's actually still yeah uh, but she's gonna be fairly easy to kill and she has nerve shatter which is really interesting unique weapon blunt two-handed weakness to shock 24% on strike shock damage 12 points on strike so it's actually a really good enchantment because it gives you the weakness to shock and then it also does the shock so we're actually gonna use it to clear these guys just because this weapon is insanely cool looking and one of my favorite weapons to uh, hold there we go nerve shatter and look at that it's got like these crazy cool crystals and weird things and it's pretty awesome let's go ahead and take that out and smash these order priests where are you running buddy yeah it's just melting them really the animation of swinging this is like really really bad though especially compared to like skyrim and newer games um but what you gonna do Alright, I've killed the Priest of Order who had cursed the Pool of Mania. The traitor still was among them. Now that I've cleansed both pools that feed the Font of Madness, I should be able to imbue the Staff of Shiagorath with power. Wonderful news. Is this guy aggroed onto us? Should we kill him? No, he's a cultivator. He is totally fine. So let's just make sure I loot everything from still. She's just got regular priest robes. Yeah. And... Okay, I think we're done here. Let's re-equip... Dawn Fang or Dusk Fang? There we go. Dawn Fang Superior. And let's go get us a Staff of Shiagorath. 
Base Ring of Nihilism, Resist Magic, 11% of itself, don't need that. The Fountainhead. Okay, we got another one of these little shortcuts. And hopefully we won't have to travel that far to get to the Font of Man. Oh, I think we're just, yeah, I think we're just exiting at this point. I don't think we need to view anything else in here. Oh, God, no. Thank you. It wasn't glowing, so I thought we would be able to just go through it without having to activate a cultivator or whatever into Shigora's Palace. Alrighty. It's playing combat music, but I don't think that matters. Here we are back in the good old-fashioned palace. Now we should be able to use the Font of Madness to imbue the staff with power. I've immersed my staff in the Font of Madness. I've gained the power of Shiagorath. Staff of Shiagorath added. Wonderful news. And I, like I figured, someone's going to be rushing over to talk to us. My lord, Armazel Zuda sent me to find you. She requests your immediate assistance. Uh, what does Armazel Duda Zuda want? I don't know, my lord. She only said it was a matter of the gravest import to the security of the realm. Okay, the end of order. That sounds like the end of the quest line, if you ask me. Anyways, let's take a look at this new staff we have been given. Where are you? Staff of Shiagorath. Staff. Voice of Shiagorath in 75 feet for 15 seconds on target. What a very mysterious description of the effect of this staff, right? Well, it's actually pretty interesting and unique. There's the staff. As you can see, it's got like a nice bloody eyeball on the tip there. Um, We'll use that later, but for now we're going to stick with Dawn Fan and what does our quest journal say the captain of my palace guard needs my assistance at once the messenger didn't know any details but it sounds urgent and is she like right over here there you are my lord I'm glad to see you we have a developing situation that requires your attention what is it Armazel? order an obelisk has activated just outside the palace I've ordered my Orioles to engage the enemy I expect that this is the beginning of the final assault the cursed usurper Jigalag himself may even take the field before the end. What are your orders, my lord? Hmm. I will lead the attack myself. It will be our great honor to fight by your side, my lord. Sweet. The captain of my palace guard has informed me that an obelisk has been activated. Well, you guys heard what she said. Basically, we need to go take care of business outside on our palace grounds, and maybe Jigalag himself may even make an appearance. Okay, what do we got here? A giant floating obelisk, how odd, and a whole bunch of knights of order. Okay, fair enough. Your invisibility, your invisibility can't save you, my friend. I think we might need to shut that out. Ow. Ow. Oh, that's right, every time you try and, like, loot it, loot this guy, it zaps you for some reason. I'm forgetting why at the moment. Do we need to shut this down? Yeah, we do. Do we have any hearts? The obelisk does not respond. Okay. The second obelisk is activated. I need to shut it down to stop the knights from overwhelming the defenders. And I think we do have some hearts of order, which if, if you'll remember, we can use to shut down these obelisks. Um, okay. Get out of my face, buddy. And I'll take that, and I will take that. Can we activate this now? Yes. And I think we need three, right? So there's one, and there's two, the obelisk does not respond, but that's fine, or it should be. Let's get this guy's heart really quickly. And there's three, and kaboom, wonderful. There goes one obelisk, it looks like we need to uh, kill one more. Let's get all these hearts that we need. I'm not sure how many hearts I had before I started this little fight though, I think I had enough. So let's go start placing these in that one over there. There's one. It's kind of a shame that my whole army consists of, like, what, five golden saints? It's kind of weird, isn't it? Um, there's two. And we might as well kill two more of these guys so that we can get Duskfang Superior. So, let me place my shots carefully. I don't want to be hitting my own guards. Or not. I guess that's it. But, uh, this might be continuing to uh, create more... Is that the third one, or is that the second one? I'm forgetting at the moment. Okay, and then this should be the last... Oh, it's been deactivated, okay. Let's kill this guy, then. Don't you cast your spells. Uh-oh. It seems Jigalag himself has formed... Or apparated right before us. Um, I kind of want to turn the difficulty up just because it's going to be way too easy to kill this guy. So let's put it up to like half. Even though I might die 
Um, but anyways, time to face off against Jigalag as the Prince of Madness ourselves. And I think it would be um, adequate to use the staff, wouldn't it? So first and foremost, let's go use a potion really quickly. Strong potion of healing. There we go. And let's equip our staff, Shigorath, and see what it does. Maybe it insta kills him. Who knows? Huh, it didn't do anything. Weird. I guess it doesn't affect Jigalag. But uh, we'll see what it does later on. Okay, let's go with Dawnfang Superior then and just slash away at Jigalag here. This ends as it always does. Oh. Not this time, my friend. Okay, does he have anything? No, he does not. And there seems to be something appearing right here. Enough! I am beaten. The Grey March is ended. For millennia, this drama has unfolded. And each time, I have conquered this land. Only to be transformed back into that gibbering fool, Sheogora. It was not always so. Once I ruled this realm, a world of perfect order. My dominion expanded across the seas of oblivion with each passing era. The other princes, fearful of my power, cursed me with madness, doomed me to live as Sheogora, a broken soul reigning in a broken land. Once each era, I was allowed my true form, conquering this world anew. And each time I did, the curse was renewed, damning me to exist as Sheogora. Now, though, you have ended the cycle. You now hold the mantle of madness, and Jigalag is free to roam the voids of oblivion once more. I will take my leave, and you will remain here, mortal. Mortal, king, god, it seems uncertain. This realm is yours. Perhaps you will grow to your station. Fare thee well, Sheogora. Prince of Madness. Jigalag has spoken to me and told me the Grey March has ended and the forces of order have retreated. Haskell will likely know how I should proceed. Very interesting. So it turns out Jigalag might have been one of the most powerful Daedric Princes of all time. He was so powerful, in fact, that his fellow Daedric Princesses, Princesses, Princes, cursed him with madness, making him uh, basically not able to utilize his full power. But it seems we have become the new Daedric Prince of Madness. Hopefully our intelligence and uh, common sense will stay, though. And maybe we'll be able to rule this place with an air of regality? I'm not sure. Regardless, it seems that we need to talk to Haskill. Greetings. And there he is. You've done it. Well done, Lord Sheogorath. I never doubted you for a moment. Now, of course, there is business to attend to. As you have assumed the mantle of Sheogorath, there are matters that deserve your attention. As lord of this realm, there are a number of benefits to which you are entitled, as well as a number of duties to which you must attend. Okay, so we have some new benefits and duties as well, as well as a whole bunch of different rewards and things. So let's go over the benefits first of all. You may request any of the Golden Saint or Dark Seducer escorts at the castle to accompany you. They will defend you to the death. You may also summon entertainment to your throne room. Your predecessor found this most invigorating. Speak with me if you wish entertainment. You also have the ability to affect the weather in your realm. As it is an extension of yourself, it will often have an effect on you as well. You also have the benefit of Sheogorath's protection. Cast this upon yourself, and if your life is threatened, you will be returned to your castle. Many of these abilities, Lord, are rooted in the magics of the Isles. Should you choose to leave this realm, they will not likely function. Very interesting indeed. So we've been given Shigorath's protection, which will transfer transport us back to the castle, manipulate weather, which will allow us to change the weather, and I guess give us an enchantment based on what type of weather it is uh, benefiting us further. Let's go over the duties. 
Your first duty is to attend to the needs of your subjects. You will find that there are constant threats to the residents of the Isles. Your job is to protect them either by dealing with the matter yourself or sending your armies to take care of it for you. Okay, so we can also defend the realm and certain monsters and things will appear in various different towns and we can go there or send like a troop of guards to deal with it. Let's talk about that, defend the realm. Creatures have been reported in Deepwallow, Lord. Perhaps you should intervene as it is your job. Now, normally I would say don't send guards and I'd go myself, but I'm going to go ahead and just send some guards over there because I want to get to the cooler stuff. As you wish, my lord. I'll see that a contingent of dark seducers is sent to the settlement. A contingent? That was the word I was looking for. Okay, let's see what he has to say if we do this again. Perhaps you've forgotten about the attacks on Deep Wallow, my lord. I'm sure the citizens might last a bit longer. <laughs> okay, so yeah, basically, we can just... Def we, I, don't, I'm not, I never really understood the point of this. I mean, it's kind of like a neat little f feature, but uh, basically, yeah, towns will get attacked. You can go deal with it yourself, or you can send guards, etc. We also have entertainment. You wish entertainment, my lord? And we can send for a dancer, which is sort of like a stripper, and that's pretty funny. And that's kind of like the... Uh, Wait a second, why can we only do that? I thought you could all you could also get a juggler. Not at the moment. Of course, sire. Um yeah. actually, why don't we get her over here just you so you guys can see what she does. Send for a dancer. As you wish. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Do you have anything else to say? Defend the realm, no entertainment. You wish. I thought you could get a juggler, that's weird. I thought there was like one for dementia, which was the dancer, and then one for the mania, which was a juggler, but okay. Um, yeah. What else do you have? Nishioth, yeah. Shivering Isles. Okay, so before we take a look at our enchantments, if we head over to the throne here, it I seems Shiagorath's regalia has been dropped for us to utilize. Let's take a look at that. So, we basically wear the thing that Shiagorath is wearing. I, I don't know, it kind of looks cool, but at the same time, I don't like those like pantaloons and those tights, it's just weird. But I do like the design of it. Um, the enchantment is Fortify Personality 30, which, wow, that's pretty hefty. Fortify Luck 10, that's also pretty hefty. And Speechcraft 10, so it's a nice bit of enchantment there. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and wear it for the duration of the Shivering Isles, I think. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and stick with that. Now what can we do? We can also uh, get any of these Stark Seducers and Golden Saints to start following us around. But at the moment, I want to find that Dancer. Is that you? There you are. Okay, let's see what the Dancer does. We'll go ahead and take a seat on the throne that we've been given. Okay, let's see what she does. You gonna dance? Dance, monkey, dance! Yeah, she just does this stupid, boring dance. Wonderful. What a great benefit of being king. Now, before we exit here, I want to show you all the things that we've done, all the basic uh, memorabilia things that we've been given. We have a focus crystal from Zedelian, right? Zedelian was the name of it, where we did all those uh, mean uh, things to those adventurers. Here we have the Chalice of Reversal from the Addiction Quest. Here we have Ulfri's Helmet when we took, uh, what's it called? What was that place called? Oh, I know it's down here. No, Pinnacle Rock. Where what was it? The thing where we, you know, the thing where we did the, the flame or whatever, we had to choose the Golden Saints or the Dark Seducers, and that was the helmet of the leader of the Dark Seducers. This is a Knight of Order helmet. I think that's from defending Passwall against the Knights of Order. We have the Chime of the Wellspring, if you remember activating those chimes. We have a Shard of Order, which I think might be from Cleansing the Font of Madness. Not sure what's supposed to be on this pedestal. We might have not done that yet. Weird. Okay, let's go over here. Who are you? Dancer. Um, we saw this in a previous episode, and I said I didn't know what it was from. The Prophetic Deduction, Volume 34,857. I think it has something to do with the Sacellum. Remember that? That priest thing. This is the replica gatekeeper weapon. When we created our own gatekeeper, we have a th bottle of Thadon's blood when we replaced Thadon as Duke of Mania, the Inquisitor's Cage when we helped out Syl. We have the replica gatekeeper head when we first came to this land and defeated the gatekeeper, and I think that's it. Yeah, okay. So, hmm, what should we do now? I think we'll head out to the palace grounds. Okay, now, if we take a look at this weapon really quickly. Staff of Shi Gorath, if we use it... Wait, there we go. 
At your command. I'm not Watch sure what's what's going on at the moment. It's supposed to freeze time, basically. Um, but these guys are not freezing. It's supposed to like freeze time in a radius. It might only be used on enemies. Maybe since these are our allies. That's what I'm thinking. I think these are our allies. I think it freezes our enemies. I'll try and use that later on, but uh, let's take a look at the enchantments we've been given. So, what do we have? Manipulate weather for 15 seconds on self. If we use that, the weather will change, and we've been given also a greater power. Seems like the game froze, thank god. Okay, so yeah, so it changed to a storm, and we've also been, giving, been given Storm's Fury. What is that? Is that an active effect or something? Yeah, it is an active effect. So, like, fortify speed, fortify agility, fortify endurance. Wow, so that's actually a pretty good effect. And we can, like... Oh, you can only use it once per day. But it does change the weather to a whole bunch of different things, not just a storm. What else do we have? Um... Let's see... Shiagora's Shiagora Reduction obviously will teleport us back to the castle, but we can only use it in... The Shivering Isles, Summon Haskell we already had. Okay, and I think that pretty much does it. Let's go ahead and... What should we do? I think I want to go to... Zaslam really quickly. Okay, there we go. I was trying to find an enemy and we've got one right there. Shambles. Do we have any more? No. Okay, so hopefully this enchantment... Oh, we do. We have a skeleton here, too. Hopefully this enchantment will work now. Let's go ahead and use it right there. Boom! He says hold, and then they uh, they just stop moving for what? For 15 seconds, I think? Yeah, 15 seconds. So that's pretty cool. And does it run out of charge? It does run out of charge. You can use it basically... What? 20 times, I guess? I'm not sure. I suck at math. Anyways, yeah. It's, it's a pretty interesting effect. Uh, you can base Actually, it's pretty game-breaking, I think, because you just slash him with uh, Dawnfang and Wetter and basically kill them while they can't do anything. And then he says release when it's over. So anyways, that's pretty much the end of the main quest of the Shivering Isles. There still exists a whole bunch of side quests and different things that you can do. And I think we'll finish those up before we move on to something else in Let's Play Oblivion. Because the quests in uh, uh, the Shivering Isles are really fun and interesting. Um, I think more so than the majority of the stuff in the base game. So I'm really looking forward to that. And anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the Shivering Isles. We still got some stuff to do, but that was the main quest. Thanks for watching. My name is Grovan, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, have a good day. Goodbye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and or watch a video that's probably going to be related to the one that you just watched, you can click the annotations on the screen. Finally, if you want to help me grow my channel, you can also share this video on Facebook and Twitter by clicking share below the video. Regardless, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.